Hello, what's up guys? So today we're going to go deep diving into the LinkedIn post I made, which was how to create a blog post in second using ChatGPT. And you can also create the images. And for that, I have two prompts. Uh, both of them are on ChatGPT actually. One is going to create the blog post and one is going to create the me journey post. Um, all right. So First and foremost, the, the blog post maker, the prompt that I used is from my course. So you have to go on uh, my website, which is rubenacid.ai. And here you can, uh, if you bought the courses, right, right here, you have one on ChatGPT on the left and one on Midjourney on the right, you can log in on the top left. Uh, so here I'm gonna log in, I'm already logged in, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. I'm gonna move my camera on the right. And you can see I have uh, the one dollar pack, the mid journey class, and the chat GPT class. So right now today, we're gonna focus on the chat GPT class to write a blog post. So here on the left, you have all of the, um, all of the chapter, the section of my, of my course. You have what is chat GPT, um, uh, how to access it, how to use it for LinkedIn, for blogs, for Twitter, for YouTube, for vertical videos, bunch of stuff, but here today, we're gonna test the blog one. So you have to click on this. If you click on another one, it's gonna uh, make a video, but here we wanna go for the, wait a second, we need to go for the blog post. So here it is. Once you click on it, um, you have the video of me uh, explaining how to use the prompt. And uh, I'm gonna put myself on the left. And if you go down, you have the prompt that you can copy paste. Um, and I made a second version. You can see here, second method approved. So I changed the prompt today. So the people who already have access to the course, they can see it already. Uh, and we're gonna copy paste the first prompt, okay? I'm gonna take this very long prompt and copy it. What it does is it's quite simple. So I'm, I'm asking ChatGPT to be a, an expert at writing blogs. And then I am very specific on what kind of qualities ChatGPT has to make that post. I'm even giving some titles examples so that you can create best kind of uh, titles for the blog post and then you put it like the the topic of your niche so here i'm just going to copy paste it and press enter that's the magic of it please use gpt4 and i explained it on my post gpt4 is much much better it's actually about 10 times better smarter than gpt 3.5 so if you're really serious about your how you use uh, ai to uh, create content, you have to use GPT-4. So here, uh, JetGPT says, I'm ready. Now you can share your uh, uh, blog post ideas and um, uh, at least the, the topic of your blog. So uh, what's your blog all about? And um, you know how much I love stoicism. So I think uh, I write about uh, modern stoicism. So let's see what kind of titles um, um, it's gonna uh, share. So here you have a bunch of them. And what I found out is that so, uh, most of the time the second prompt is a critique about the titles because what's gonna happen is that ChatGPT provides the titles of the blogs, then it provides the table of contents of the titles that you selected, and then you write the blog post. Um, but most of the time these ones are not creative enough, which is fine. Uh, the way I do it is I, I just say it's not so here it's not creative specific uh, surprising enough try again super easy super straightforward and um, here ChatGPT is going to try and now this is specific why Silicon Valley Titans are embracing ancient sto uh, stoic practices Silicon Valley feels very new and ancient stoic practices is very old. So uh, I like this one, this one is really good. Um, stoic routines, okay, to be a marathoner, it's interesting. This one's for parenting. Uh, you have vegan, uh, you have embracing the cold, stoic lessons from e extreme cold swimmers. This is also interesting. Wow, I actually have a lot. Uh, philosophy in hip hop, a surprising perspective. What? You have stoic philosophy in hip hop? Now that's a new, that's a new one. That, that's one's, what's interesting. Then you have poker and you have political. 
I think I'm going to go for the first one. Um, and you can go back to my course and say, let's pick the first one. So let's pick title number one. And now it's going to say fantastic and it's going to create the table of content. If you like the table of content, then you can write the blog post. But that's how you iterate with ChatGPT. Um, so right now I'm just reading out loud with you the rise of stoicism, why stoicism practices. Okay. Um, right off the bat, I feel like um, the bullet points for each section uh, there is not enough contents and bullet points for each sections. Add more. So here I just want more content uh, to make sure that the table of content actually is strong enough. It has enough to say. Um, and so that ChatGPT won't do those. Sometimes ChatGPT is like lazy. Uh, and here you can see it. It's quite lazy. It's just giving you one uh, paragraph, but I want multiple paragraphs. So um, that's how you do it. Um, I want to be sure he go through everything about each sections so that the, the, the blog post itself is quite big um, and to avoid this like um, um, basically ChatGPT being lazy, um, which is quite the paradox because we're lazy and that's why we use ChatGPT. I mean, we're not lazy. We want to do more in less time. Now that this is done, um, you go here and you copy paste the fifth prompt, um, which is right here. And uh, basically it says, it's awesome. Now can you do it? Uh, I'm even gonna add, write one paragraph per bullet point minimum to make sure it's big enough. Absolutely. So now what I did is that I asked ChatGPT to review the qualities it has. And where are those qualities? It's in my original prompts. I said that it has a lot of characteristic of how to write a good blog. And this technique is the sandwich technique. You tell the mission in the beginning and the qualities, and then it, it kind of map out the titles and the table of content. And right before you ask to write the whole content, you ask again, can you make sure you understood like the, the homework. And so that's how a ChatGPT makes sure it knows everything. And now it's starting to write the whole blog post. Did you do a paragraph per? No, he didn't. Ah, that's a shame. Um, so again, ChatGPT being lazy, uh, I was expecting it to be honest. Um, what I can do is to directly say, you didn't write, you made a mistake. You didn't write one paragraph per bullet point for each section. The blog post feels too small. Also, the formatting is not compelling. Look, I'm not giving you like prompts that are like perfect. You have to play around ChatGPT and this is what I'm doing and this is what I teach throughout my whole course. I keep saying, the, 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 I keep giving like prompt techniques of like, this is not gonna be perfect right off the bat, but for sure you can play with it so that at some point you finally have what you want. So for now the introduction is not what we wanted. Uh, it's not two paragraphs. I hope he's gonna do some. No, he really doesn't want to. Uh, let me check. Is it exactly the same? Stoicism and forces at the end. Stoicism and valley at the end. Yeah, no, it's not exactly the same what he wrote. It's interesting. But um, it's interesting. Let's check if it's true. It's very important. Jack Dorsey. Stoicism? Is it true? That's also something I, I tell you to do. Yes, it is true. Okay, interesting. So this is doable. You have ways to make it slightly better for sure because I wanted to have multiple... Uh, let's try. Uh, you still 
did the same mistake. You didn't write multiple paragraphs with line breaks for each bullet points of each sections, each section. Sometimes if you call out the mistake enough, he's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna do it this time. Let's just see it. Uh, if you finally do it, I want, yes, that's what I wanted. Just make paragraphs like small ones. Otherwise it's like, ugh, uh, just too much to read, you know? Finally, he's doing it. Um, now there is also something else. It's to check if he's gonna do it until the end because most of the times ChatGPT is lazy as I told you. He's like doing it perfectly in the beginning and then he just stops doing it. It's like, okay, I think I've, did, I've done enough. Um, but here he's doing it. Um, and I can see Tim Ferriss. I know he's definitely into stoicism. So what I said at the end of my LinkedIn post, and that's probably why you're here, is then how to create uh, images on Midjourney using it. So I have another prompt. I have a lot of prompts, to be honest. Uh, and by the way, I might sell a monthly subscription with my prompts. Tell me in the comment section if you'd like to, if you'd like me to do it. But here, if I go on the Midjourney generator, I'm just gonna wait for him to finish the the article, which is much better now. You can see it. It's uh, uh, you have multiple paragraphs. It's not uh, too small. I like it. Um, here you can go on MG generator. It's my it's my mid journey generator prompt, and you go here. I edit the prompt, the whole thing. You don't have to know it. You just have to go here and. Uh, stoicism I'm gonna stoicism and let's see what do we have so interesting what you do is quite simple you just copy and you go on me journey and I know you love it at home copy pasting yes I don't want to do the hard job I just want to copy paste so I go on me journey and I just copy paste uh, what the me journey generator is doing uh, it's a pretty good prompt to create a uh, mid-journey prompt. It's not perfect. Like, usually that's how I start. I have those two ones, and then I, I still go for portraits of Marcus Aurelius, highly detailed um, 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 painting by, I don't know, to be honest. I did something with Van Gogh a few times, uh, a few, few weeks ago. Van Gogh plus Marcus Aurelius. I can show you here while it's uh, doing its thing. You know, it's uh, processing. If I can show you what I did. It was this one. It was kind of like Stoicism and Van Gogh and a bunch of different artists. So maybe it's going to do a good job. Um, here, it's not what we're looking for. Um, interesting. Oh, because it's like the state of Stoicism, but this one is interesting uh, because it is Seneca, especially I think this one. Um, so if you feel like it's gonna work, you just go for a Seneca, maybe. Uh, let's see, sometimes one word is enough, you know. Here he combined <laughs> Marcus Aurelius and Van Gogh. I mean, why not? Why not? But what we can do as well is that instead of stay, saying Stoicism, we can say Marcus Aurelius which I think has a lot. Or Greek philosopher, uh, philosopher. It would have been good, uh, one that would be good as well. But here you see, uh, oh, I can copy this and just paste it. And you see how it's just much faster. Um, and here I can have another one. By the way, I have no idea if it's gonna be good. I just know it's a solid prompt generator, but you know how AI is. Uh, if it's ChatGPT AI, Midjourney AI, you don't know if it's gonna be impactful or not. So let's try like a last one, which would be Greek philosopher. Philosophers. Save and submit. You see how I'm doing it? Always editing the prompt. Here we have some cool one that could be interesting, uh, but not really though. And so here I have another one. ChatGPT is much faster than Midjourney. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna create, keep creating, that's the goal. Here you have Marcus Aurelius, that could be interesting, could be used. 
another one. I like this one. I feel like the left one's gonna be good. And then we have the last one. I can see you being feeling buzzed by all of those changes. But you have to switch between one and another because um, Mid Journey takes a bit of, of time to generate. So I want to use my time efficiently. So this is why I'm doing this. Wow, this is what I'm looking for. Like, yes, that's nice. That could be in my uh, cover. And by the way, this is a square. And if you need um, a white screen image, you can generate a white screen image. Uh, you just have to put the, the um, AR and then 16.9, for example, um, at the end of the uh, at the end of your prompt. So this one's nice. This one's gonna be so nice. I can see it here, the top left or the top right. I want it. This one is interesting, a bit too 3D maybe, but could be could be used as well. You know, like it's it's okay. And the last one, God, I love this one. Look at this. More like Leonardo da Vinci, but it works as well. It works to me. So here you have it. You have a full blog post that you can obviously improve from there and some images from Midjourney. All right, I'm gonna put in the description, I'd love you to read the description. I'm gonna put uh, the link to my courses both on ChatGPT and Midjourney. You have much more than that, I promise. And since I'm a very nice guy, I'm gonna also share uh, the, the, the description, the prompt for this blog, and also the prompt for Midjourney. So let's stay in touch. Uh, like the, the video if you, if you enjoy it. I am very new to YouTube, so it feels weird for me to say that. And drop a comment if, you, if you'd like to support the channel. All right, talk to you soon, bye-bye.